chainsaws and weed eaters have the easiest to fix pull starters of any machine. Although some weed eaters, it's hard to split the machine to get at the pull starter, but chainsaws is just too easy. They all work pretty much the same. So the greatest technique that makes these things easy is that little groove right there. It's probably patented. I didn't used to see it a long time ago, but it's such a wonderful idea for rewinding these things. Come on, kitty. How come I always get random cattage in my videos? I didn't even call you. I think when they hear me talking, they think I'm talking about them, don't you? Yeah, everybody needs some random cattage. All right, I gotta get to work. So I'll disassemble one to show you how to start these things and put them back together from scratch. Screw is out. I detension this one, but normally when you would take one of these apart, it would already be detensioned or you wouldn't be working on it. So this one has the little cup that holds the spring. Not again. I thought I just threw you on the roof. So I just, come on kitty. So I just turned this thing upside down. This fell out and it's properly all in there. I showed in my Briggs and Stratton video how you tension up the springs to fit them into the pocket. The thing that you always remember is which way it came off, whether the hook was pointing that way or that way. Now I'll let go of the spring to detension it. Yes, helper. Now I'll show you how you wind it up to make it fit back in that little pocket. Just grab it like this, pull the center all the way over to one side, and hold it together. Then you take your other hand and pull that end and keep pulling it till it winds the center tight. So I just kept pulling that thing and letting it wind up till it became smaller and smaller while pinching this side. And every time it got smaller I had extra sticking out here so I just grabbed that and wrapped it around and then pulled it again. And now I think it's small enough to fit into the pocket if my cat would get out of the way. So I drop it in the same way it came out like that and I'm all set for reassembly. So I've just set that thing into the pocket. It didn't take any effort. I slowly release it so it doesn't jump out. And now i got to put a little oil on it. Kitty, quit grabbing that thing. I'm trying to oil this. It'll just soak in between the spaces. Now it just holds itself in place now by spring tension so I can turn it upside down and safely set it back in place. done. The next thing you got to make sure of whenever you're doing one of these is the little hook that's on that spot where the loop is or the little loop is always bent in such a way that it points towards the middle and touches the middle. The reason it has to touch the middle is so that it moves over far enough it can always catch the notch that the end of that spring goes into when you set this thing back in. So you set it back in with no tension on it yet. So with the string all unwound, no tension, line up one of these notches to that hook, slip it on. Simple as that. Put the screw back in, and you just have to wind the string now. So now it's all back together, no tension, and it's so easy to tension. Right, kitty? You just don't give up, do you? Anyways, next step, pull some string out like this, doesn't matter how much, and when you pull this thing, it unwinds in this direction. So the reason the notch is there is you stick the string in the little notch, and you just grab it and keep turning it around, maybe six or seven times in the direction that the string comes out. hard to do this with one hand. So now I've done all those turns. Now if I put the string back into the right slot, like that, let it hang to get all the twists out of it, then I just let go. It winds itself back in. Well if it didn't wind itself back in far enough, Grab a little bit more out of here, pull up the slack, hook the string back in the notch, and give it a couple more winds, then let go. 
like this. There, it's all done. Perfect. Couldn't be sweeter. On this particular design, the notch wasn't that important because there was no cup for the string to sit in that runs all the way up the sides. But on this still pole starter and many others like in weed eaters, it does have close sides to the winding coil. And you do have to pull the string up in there and able to get it to do those turns while it's assembled. So like I said, chainsaws and weed eaters are actually the easiest.